So naturally, I asked him if we could play bongos on each other's heads. He said, no, from now on, we're going to play music in our heads. What? I said, you mean we can't play with any of the instruments? Mr. Hind said, no. Can't I at least beat on a drum, I asked him. He said, no. We all asked, why not? And Mr. Hind replied, because that's the new rule. It's not fair. Mr. Hind is out of his mind. Miss Small is off the wall. Playing music in my head was boring. I was glad when it was finally over. Then we had to go to Fizz Ed. I hate Fizz Ed because uh, instead of playing football or something cool, we always have to do weird stuff like juggle scarves or balance feathers on one finger. We walked a million hundred miles to the gym. Our gym teacher, Miss Small, she's really tall. One time, we were playing a game called Ghost in the Graveyard, and she fell out of the tree and broke her arm. That was scary. After all that time sitting around doing nothing in library, art, and music, I was excited to go to Fizz Ed and get some exercise. I didn't care what exercise we did, as long as it wasn't sitting around doing nothing. I asked Miss Small, are we going to balance feathers on our fingers today? She said no. Are we going to juggle scarves? I asked. She said no. Miss Small told us that instead of doing that stuff, we were going to do something called meditation. I didn't know what that meant, but it didn't sound like fun. She told us that meditation is mental exercise. She had us all sit on the floor and told us to sit quiet and focus on our breathing. She said, breathe in, breathe out, now breathe in again. What? I was already breathing in and out before we got to Fizz Ed. I'd been breathing in and out my whole life. In fact, if I didn't breathe in and out for just a few minutes, I'd be dead. If you ask me, this meditation thing is a whole lot of sitting around and doing nothing. After a few minutes of meditation, I was getting bored. I asked Miss Small, can we go outside and run around the playground or something now? She said no. We all shouted, why not? And Miss Small said, because that's the new rule. It's not fair. Miss Small is off the wall. Forbidden fruit. It seemed like all of the teachers at elementary school had gone crazy. After phys ed, we had walked a million hundred miles to the vomitorium to eat lunch. We all had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches except for Ryan. He had a peanut butter he had a jelly and peanut butter sandwich. The teachers are weirder than ever today, said Michael. They won't let us do anything. Yeah, this place is turning into a gel, I said. They might as well put us in cells. I don't know why you're complaining, Arlo. You always say you hate library, music, art, and gym anyway. I do hate all that stuff. But when somebody tells me I can't do something, it makes me want to do it. Ah, uh, forbidden fruit. Huh? What does fruit have to do with anything? I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I hate fruit. Forget it, Arlo. Anyway, we had a long talk about whether or not elementary school was turning into a gel. That's when I came up with the greatest idea in the history of the world. I told the gang, maybe these people aren't our real teachers. Did you ever think of that? I asked Arlo, what do you mean? Well, I told her. Maybe we're living in a parallel universe where teachers pretend to be real teachers, where pretend teachers pretend to be real teachers, but they're really evil robotic teacher clones. I told Arlo to stop trying to scare Emily. Emily said, I'm scared. Then Ryan said, Maybe the evil robotic teacher clones are trying to take over the world. That's when Emily yelled, We've got to do something. And then she went running out of the vomitorium. Emily is weird. New rules. But Emily was right for once in her life. 
We did have to do something, but what? I think it was Ryan who suggested we make up a list of our own rules and give them to Mr. Klutz. Yeah, Ryan should get the Nobel Prize for that idea. I always carry a pad and pencil with me in case I need to write something down, so we started making a list of rules for school. Everybody started shouting out ideas. No more homework, free ice cream sundaes at lunch, all day recess, no more report cards. Every day is pizza day, snow day, even when it isn't snowing outside. Pin the tail on the teacher. Personally, I didn't think any of those ideas were so great. There was no way that Mr. Klutz was going to agree to all those rules. But maybe he would agree to some of them. I said we should demand to have new desks with video games built into them. You know, like when you're on... Oops. Like when you're on an airplane and they have a screen in the seat in front of you. Those things are cool. We should have them built into our desks so if the teacher gets boring, we could just play video games instead of paying attention. That's crazy, Arlo. Mr. Klutz will never agree to that. Hey, they said Thomas Edison was crazy, but he invented the light bulb, right? If he hadn't invented the light bulb, we'd have never had any ideas. Because whenever you have an idea... A light bulb appears over your head. Instead of going to recess, we took our list of rules and went to Mr. Klute's office. And do you know what he was doing in there? He was hanging upside down from the ceiling. Mr. Klute had these special boots that attach to a pole so he could hang upside down. He says when the blood rushes to your head, his head, it helps him think. He also has a punching bag and a football foosball table in his office. Mr. Klutz is nuts. Then we, when we walked in the doorway, Mr. Klutz said, What do I owe the pleasure of your company? That's, what grown, that's how grown-ups say, What are you doing here? I told him that we made our own list of school rules for school, and we wanted him to look them over. I handed him the list. He was still hanging upside down as he read them. Mr. Klutz looked over our new rules for a million hundred minutes. Then he gave them back to Andrea and said, I'm sorry, kids, but these rules are just silly. This is a school. This is a place for learning, not a place for eating ice cream, playing video games. I knew we shouldn't have given Mr. Klutz all those crazy rules.